more disturbing new revelations today in Texas as state lawmakers investigate the police response to that deadly mass shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. The state's director of public safety says police had enough manpower and equipment right there on scene to stop the attack within three minutes, but police waited more than an hour to engage the gunman. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest now on today's searing testimony. Damning testimony inside the Texas Senate chamber Tuesday. The law enforcement response to the attack at Robb Elementary was an abject failure. The state's director of public safety, Stephen McCraw, testifying before lawmakers, blasting law enforcement's response as his department's investigation uncovers new evidence about the massacre. McCraw saying enough officers and equipment arrived within three minutes to neutralize the gunman, but still officers waited over an hour to kill him. 19 children and two teachers were fatally shot. One error, 14 minutes and eight seconds. That's how long the children waited. The officers had weapons, the children had none. McCraw placing the blame on Uvalde School Police Chief Pete Arredondo, who directed officers not to breach classroom 111. He says officers were waiting for keys to enter, but investigators finding the door couldn't be locked from the inside and saying that officers never even tried opening it. How about trying the door and see if it's unlocked? I don't believe, based on the information we have right now, that that door was ever secured. McCraw reading a transcript of police radio communications. An officer, there's a teacher shot in there, to which the Uvalde PD officer replies, I know. The chief, people are going to ask why we're taking so long. We're trying to preserve the rest of the life. We decided to place the lives of officers before the lives of children. Texas DPS also revealing a number of communication failures that hampered decision making, saying Arredondo arrived at the school without a radio. You're Victims' afraid. families Thank calling for Arredondo to step down. Having Peach still employed, knowing he is incapable of decision making that saves lives is terrifying. Arredondo has defended his actions in interviews, saying officers didn't hesitate to save lives, but had to adjust to what they faced. He testified before the House committee behind closed doors today. In New York, Rena Roy for Channel 6 Action News.